Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. When you go through your life, you ever notice sometimes you just get irritated at people? People are kind of getting on your nerves these days. Sometimes we start noticing we have zero tolerance for other people. And what's going on right now in our society, we're under a lot of pressure. A lot of people are under a lot of pressure. A lot of people are in crisis situations. And the truth of the matter is, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. People are only as good as their worst day. And when times are like they are right now, even though the economy and the news is it's getting better, I question that myself. Because as I watch people, they're under so much stress right now, they're in a malaise of almost total denial of reality of what's really going on in their own lives, what they're doing, their own behaviors. If you want to have a good exercise in sociology and the demise of what's going on in our society right now, just go stand in line at the post office, a grocery store, or an event, some kind of an event where you have to buy a ticket and stand in line to get through the door, a fair or a market. Just watch people's behavior when they are with other people and they feel like their rights or their ability to perform what they want to is being inhibited by someone else. Notice the behavior in these people. What's happening is under stress, people really short stop their own ability to be civil with each other. And it comes into a survival mechanism that has us attempting to rise above and beyond being stopped by other forces. If you find yourself even driving down the road with an intolerance of other drivers and screaming and yelling in your own car or stomping and pounding on the steering wheel, you got to take a look at your stress level. Or when you look across the line at someone else and how they're behaving because a red light and they're pounding on their steering wheel, you're looking for a disaster just waiting to happen. Today, I think what we all have to do is take a look at our own civility, our own ability to be kind, to be loving, and understand all of us are in this together. It's not us against them. Even though news, media, and the government sometimes has us feeling that way. We have to really stand our ground, take care of ourselves. yet at the same time we have to also watch out for other people. Some people might not be as strong as you. They not be able, be able to tolerate stress as you do. I'm going to ask each one of you to watch these tune-ups to watch out for other people. And when you see someone acting out in stress, when you see someone misbehaving, not to misbehave back, just give them a little extra space. It means their chain has found its weakest link and now it's starting to collapse. It's starting to break down. They used to call this in the old days a nervous breakdown. There's a lot of that going on right now. Yet, it's really just in the way we think about things. When we drive down the street and we're being delayed, it's just as easy to think about, well, things are running slow right now. I might be a little bit late. Maybe what I ought to do is just take this as some kind of a sign coming from the universe that I gotta slow down a little bit. And just look at the beauty around you. Even if you're sitting in your car and you're out on the asphalt jungle, just look at the beauty around you. Look at the beauty of other people. They really are. The human race is a very elegant, beautiful species. The way we operate at our best really tells us how we're going to evolve. If you find yourself dropping down a notch and becoming very primal and angry, that's the wrong direction. So until tomorrow, let's work on that. This is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary civil day. Bye-bye.